All right, what's up guys? Back for another video. Uh, it's been a while since we've talked. Um, yeah, we're gonna go through a what's in my beer league hockey bag video. I've had a lot of people asking on social about what gear I use, um, all that stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first up, the bag. This, is, this bag's at least probably three years old um, and it's still rock solid. It's the Pacific Rink Player Bag. Uh, they sent this to me a while back and I've been using it ever since. So let's open it up and see what all's in. All right, so I'm not gonna go through this in any particular order. Uh, if you guys have questions about it, wanna see something else or more detail, let me know and I'll answer whatever that is. Um, but I'm just gonna literally pull out every single piece that's in here and show you guys what it is. Pants, these are the Bauer 2X Pro Pants. Um, they have worked well for me. I love that there's no strings here. Um, essentially just pull them up, pull these clips tight, um, and they stay where they are. Uh, I don't notice them when I'm playing, so that's the biggest thing for me is don't notice the gear, it's not in my way, um, so that's perfect. Uh, shoulder pads, I wear these sometimes when I play beer league, sometimes I don't, guess it's just how I'm feeling. Uh, Bauer Vapor 2X Pro. Um, what's next? Helmet. I go back and forth in what I'm wearing here, but right now I'm wearing a white uh, Bauer Hopper Light with a bubble on it. Um, this works really well for me, especially for beer leagues. I don't like wearing a cage, um, but this still gives me the protection that I need. Drunk stickers on the side. Um, I'm not a fan of just an all black helmet, so the white got the USA sticker on the back. Uh, what's next? Elbow pads. Again, Bauer Vapor 2X. Um, these are really nice. I'm really picky about elbow pads because, again, like if they slide and I'm messing with them during a game, like that's not a fan. Um, but these stay where I put them. Um, yeah, perfect. Uh, gloves, Bauer Vapor 2X Pro. Um, I haven't worn these for too long, um, but I like them. They're a lot smaller, I guess smaller profile than what I'm used to. Um, kind of smaller profile than the True Gloves. Um, these are 14s. I normally wear like a 13 in the True Gloves, but these have done really well for me. Uh, another pair of gloves. There's a pair of True, um, what are these, XC9 Pros um, with the shot blockers on them. Um, they match our color scheme. That's why I keep them in here. Um, but yeah, especially at tournaments or events where you're playing multiple games, more than one pair of gloves is perfect, especially if the gear doesn't have time to dry. I hate playing in wet gear. I'm sure everybody else does too. Shin pads, Bauer Vapor 2X Pro. Again, um, I'm not super picky on this stuff, but if you put it on and it doesn't move and it does its job, that's a win. What's next? Um, massage gun. If you guys don't have one of these or don't use one, um, they are fantastic. This is the Hopper Ice Hopper Volt Plus. Um, even if you're getting, you know, a higher end one like this or like just one off of Amazon, if you ever tried it, um, pick one up and try it because they are a game changer, especially for getting your legs warm or working out not especially like if you've been lifting, anything like that, these are fantastic. Um, Howie's toiletry bag. What do we keep in here? A pair of laces, um, clear tape, black tape, white tape, ibuprofen, you know you're getting old. Um, and these Pedialyte things, these are fantastic, especially for tournaments when I'm not drinking enough water. I keep you know, three or four of those in there and replace them as, uh, as I use them. Other side, uh, another roll of black tape. Um, screw kit for helmet, just in case you break a screw or anything can happen with those. Uh, stick wax, this is uh, Rooster Hockey Company stick wax. Um, and then a pair of scissors from Howie's too. I think that's everything that's in there. What's next? Uh, extra set of blades. Um, funny story, like, I, I just played beer league. Like, that's it. No college, no high school, beer league. 
Um, people think like a lot of this stuff is overkill. We literally had a guy take warm ups, first shift, breaks a blade on the ice. He had extra blades in his bag. Um, goes to the locker room, swaps both blades out, comes back. He maybe missed one shift. So if you don't have extra stuff like this in your bag, get it. Um, so this is the Howie's blade case. And then we've got two sets of blades in here. Um, these are Blade Tech blades. Both sets are Blade Tech blades. Um, they fit perfectly in this. What's next? Um, side pockets. Uh, some stickers one of my buddies did for us that I haven't given to the guys yet. Um, mouthpiece from Guard Lab. It's got the Drunks logo on it. Um, if I'm not wearing like a bubble or a cage, definitely wear a mouthpiece. That's empty. Small toolkit. I think I picked this up off of Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, it's just got, and it's a mess right now, different bits. And then you can see the screwdriver in there. And then this is the tool to, that pops up part the uh, the true shift holder so it's good to have all that stuff in there you may never need it hope I never need it but if I do it's there um, pair of pliers if a blade gets stuck and you got to pull it out uh, this is something new that I've been trying I haven't I've worn these maybe twice this is the war road compression set I'm sure you guys have seen the Instagram ads for these because they're everywhere. I wanted to try them out, so I bought a pair. Um, the cool thing about these is when you put your sleeve on, it actually has... So when your sleeve goes on here, these are actually... It actually says it right there. These are cut resistant, so you don't take a skate to the wrist. And then what you do is this, imagine your elbow pads on, this actually overlaps up on your elbow pad to keep it staying there. I mentioned I don't like gear moving around and I don't notice it. If I don't notice it, it's a win. So this wraps up over your elbow pad on both sides and keeps it in place there. That was a selling point for me. So I bought a pair of them. Um, there's the shirt. And then same thing with the pants. Um, they're actually inside out. Um, two things I don't like about this, uh, there's no Velcro straps for socks and there's no spot uh, for a cup. So uh, World, if you're listening, version two, that would be awesome. Uh, next up, because those don't have spots for socks and for a cup, this is just a shock doctor jock um, and then the cup that goes along with it. I'm sure just about every beer league player has a pair of those. Uh, sharp shack towel, uh, change of clothes if I need a shower at the rink, uh, and then this. This is like the JBL Charge 5, and it is fantastic for the locker room. I'm the guy that's got the music every time, um, and the cool thing about this is it actually has a charge port on the back, so you can plug an iPhone into it and charge your iPhone if it's dying. Um, so having music, having a charger, and not having to carry a battery bank with it. Uh, you guys that wear GoPros, like you can plug your charger right into that and boost it in between games. So that's a big win. Uh, jerseys, we'll run through these real quick. Here's, our, here's one of our beer league jerseys. This is probably one of my favorite ones right now. Wish Cup jersey. Looks like somebody had to wear that last week because it's got tape over one of the numbers. Oh, and the Elevate Boys sent me this a while back. I wear this when I'm out there just messing around. The name on the back. Um, this is our newest Beer League jersey that we wear. Uh, John, one of our guys, designed this. And then the alternate version of that white one. And I have a ton of jerseys in here because we wear a ton of different ones, play for a couple different teams. So um, got one, two pairs of socks in there. Uh, what else is in here? 
Got Wish Cup Puck, Green Biscuit. And then the last big thing in here, uh, currently, these have Howie soakers on them. Currently, I am using the Bauer Vapor Hopper Lot skates. Um, I just play beer league, for being honest here. Um, so I don't notice a ton of the difference between uh, a lot of the steel. But if you guys haven't tried this carbon steel, um, it's nuts. So I had the Blade Tech steel in here as soon as I bought them. I didn't even take this out of the box or sharpen it. Played a couple of games. I think I lost an edge on a skate and needed to put an extra pair in. So I swapped these out and these haven't came out of my skate since. Um, it's unreal the difference in how light this steel is versus just um, you know Blade Tech steel or any other steel. I still love the Blade Tech steel. Still have that on my true skates, but they're onto something with this and I'm stoked to see where it goes. And oh, the socks, these are like the Howie's skate cut resistant socks. Um, if you're not wearing a pair of, doesn't have to be Howie's, if you're not wearing a pair of the skate cut resistant socks, um, invest in a pair. I think these were 30 or 40 bucks, maybe save you a couple thousand dollars in an ER trip. So try those out. Um, there's the other skate. Um, the Hyperlite skates are great. These are not fully broken in yet. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. That's pretty much everything that's in the bag. Um, I've got a lot of work to put all this junk back. Uh, but if you guys have questions about it, you want to know something specific about why I wear this or why I do that, um, let me know in the comments section and I'll answer it or uh, hit me up on Instagram. Thanks, guys. Okay, almost forgot. Last thing, sticks. Everybody's favorite thing. Uh, this is the Pacific Rink stick bag. It's done well. It's went literally all over the world with me. Do need to get a new one. This one's ripped, though. Um, oops. Two sticks that I keep in my bag right now are both Bauer Vapor Hopper Lots. They are 70 P28 curves, um, which I've recently switched to that curve, and it is it's perfect for me. Again, Bauer Vapor Hopper Lots P28 70 curve. I'm right-handed. Uh, if you haven't tried these sticks out, uh, they're unreal. So check it out. Uh, again, if you guys have questions, let me know in the comments. We'll see you in the next one.